The uh, front panel interface of the GC has some useful utilities that you may want to access from time to time. Let's take a look at a few of them. So to get there, we go to Tools, Utilities, and you see we have some icons for the various utilities that are helpful. Uh, the one uh, that I get the most utility out of is the column flow calculator. It's very nice. So this doesn't have any impact on underlying functionality of the instrument. This is simply a little calculator for your, for your edification. Uh, what we can do here is we can put in parameters such as column length, column diameter, temperature, carrier gas, and solve for the three interesting flow parameters that we want to know, pressure, flow, and linear velocity. So let's put in a couple of them right here. We'll just leave the defaults of 30 meters, 50 degrees C, and 320 microns. But what we want to know is what pressure or flow is, gives us the best separation. So there's a, a suggested linear velocity of 20 to 40. Let's say we'll put in 40 because we want to be efficient, but we want to go as fast as we possibly can. And for this particular column set, that translates to a flow rate of 2.51 mils per minute. Right, so there's some other uh, utilities in there as well. One's called a column length calculator. And this is just a quick reference to the insertion depth for the various detectors and uh, injector inlets that we have on the Perkin Armor GC. So we can do it for an FID, any of the other detectors we happen to support. We have another one called uh, program uh, that is on the uh, 690, but not on the 590, but on the 690. And what this does is it gives you a nice little graphical, a uh, nice little text interface of the maximum uh, temperature ramp that you can do for certain temperatures on the GC for both the standard power model and the high power model. There's a couple other little uh, uh, utilities in there. One's called background compensation. So this is occasionally used in petrol cam applications. Not a lot of people will uh, uh, do it, but it's there if you need it. And then finally, there's one called stopwatch. So a few people still have old-fashioned bubble flow meters, and if you have one of those handy in your lab, you can utilize a stopwatch to get some flow information. All right, so that's some of the useful utilities in the uh, front panel.